In this video, I will show you how you can create programmable interest in Ethereum using RDI tokens. RDI is a cool new DeFi project where you redirect interest earned by your DAI tokens. You keep your capital, but you give the interest. This has many use cases like donations, DAOs, or in DeFi. In this video, I'm going to give more detail about all these use cases. Then I will explain how RDI work, including all the smart contract interactions. And I will also explain how to use their Solidity smart contract. If you don't know me, I'm Julian and on my channel, Eat the Blocks, I teach blockchain development and how to find your first blockchain job. So first, let's see the use cases of RDI in more details. So we're going to start with donations. The problem with charities is that they are very opaque and they can be quite ineffective. Actually, a large percentage of donations never reaches beneficiaries. There are all sorts of reasons for that, like corruption or cost of financial intermediaries. The big advantage of using RDI for donation is that you skip all the intermediaries and it's totally transparent. And there are two examples of DAB that use RDI for donation. The first one is the official DAB of RDI and the second one is a project called Artrees. Another use case for RDI is to keep your capital in cold storage and use the interest in a hot wallet for your daily spending. And the next use case is to use RDI for communities and DAOs. If you don't know what's a DAO or Decentralized Autonomous Organization, that's basically a smart contract that is used to manage the governance or the investment of an organization. So you invest some DAI in RDI, you set the beneficiary as the DAO address, and now your organization has a sort of endowment funds that produces money like universities, and each community member holds a certain number of RDI tokens proper proportionally to his investment in the organization, and it's even possible to trade freely these RDI tokens between community members. And I just scratched the surface here, there are many other potential use cases for DeFi. Okay, so moving on to the next section, how RDI work. So in RDI, we're going to consider three smart contracts. So the first one is the smart contract of DAI. So DAI is what we call a stablecoin, which means that's a token that always keep the same value. I have a video on DAI if you want to know more about this. Then we have the smart contract of RDAI, which is an ERC20 token. And finally, we have the smart contract of Compound. Compound is a lending platform on Ethereum. You can lend your token securely and get some interest. I have a video on Compound if you want to know more about this. So step one, Bob is going to get some RDI. So Bob already has 100 DAI. Bob sends 100 DAI to the RDI token. In exchange, Bob gets 100 RDI. So you get one RDI for each DAI invested. The RDI contract does not keep the DAI tokens, but instead it lends them to Compound. This way, DAI tokens are monetized and produce some interest. And in exchange, the RDI contracts get CDI tokens from a compound that represent the loan. Step two, Bob is going to decide where he wants the interest to be redirected. For that, he calls the RDI smart contract and give the address of the beneficiary. So in this example, there is just one beneficiary, but actually you can specify several beneficiaries. And you also have to specify the split for each beneficiary. For example, if you have two beneficiaries, maybe that you want to do 50-50 or 70-30, etc. By the way, for the beneficiary, you can also specify your own address. So you could decide to send part of the interest to yourself and another part to other addresses. And after, Bob has the right to transfer his RDI to any other address. For example, if Bob sent his RDI to Charlie, now Charlie has the RDI and he can decide to change the allocation of the interest. And the last step would be to redeem the RDI. So in this case, the owner will send RDI to the RDI smart contract and in exchange will get back the original DAI token. So that means that internally the RDI smart contract is going to send its CDI to the smart contract of Compound and Compound is going to send back the DAI to the RDI smart contract which will have to forward this DAI to the owner. And this is also at this time that the interest will be paid to the beneficiary that were configured before. Okay, so next we're gonna see how the smart contract work. So this is the repo for the smart contract of RDI. So we go in packages, 
contracts contracts let's go down and here we have our token so i keep talking of our die but actually you can apply the same mechanism to any other token so let's scroll down so here you can see that we have a couple of functions for ERC20 token because RDI is an ERC20 token. Okay, so here we have an interesting function, mint. So you call this function when you want to create some RDI. So before you call this function, you need to approve your die to be spent by the smart contract of RDI. Then you specify how much RDI you want to create. So it transfer the die to the smart contract and send you back the RDI. Then there is an alternative version of creating RDI where not only you specify how much RDI you want, but also you specify what's the allocation for the interest. So actually the way you specify allocation with RDI is with the concept of hat. So I will explain how it works just after, but basically here you do two operations in one. You create RDI and you also configure the interest. So here you can choose an allocation that already exists. And in this other function, mint with new hat, you can create RDI and also create a new allocation. And so here you can see the argument you need to provide for that. So you need an array of addresses for the recipient and after an array of integer for the proportions. So for the proportion, you can choose any number you want. So it's going to compute the ratio. So for example, if you specify 50-50, then that's easy. That's going to be 50% for each. And if you specify 100-100, then that's the same. That's going to be 50-50. And after here with the redeem function, you can redeem your R die. So that means that it's going to get back the die from the compound smart contract. It's going to send the interest to the beneficiary here. It's going to burn the R die and then send you back the die. So you can find the documentation of R die in the repo. So here in this place in GitHub, then in the readme, so you will see a schema that show you the architecture. And here you have more, more explanation about the different kind of hats. So I went quite quickly on that. Here you have explanation with like how you can specify the proportion, meet, redeem, transfer, pay interest. Another cool stuff I like in the GitHub is here you have the source code for the official RDI app. So that can show you how you can integrate RDI from your front end. And they also have an API. So api.rdi.money. And here you have the documentation and they also have this really nice visual explorer that I show you at the beginning of the video. So you can zoom in, zoom out, do all sort of cool stuff. That's really beautiful. I don't know how to use it, but that's beautiful. <laughs> and if you are interested in DeFi programming, check out my playlist on the topic. I have a ton of tutorial about many other DeFi projects. I'll see you there.